given the current um, kind of trajectory we are on, by 2050, one in every two people impacted by climate events globally could be uh, based in India. That is a, a significant risk that we have to invest in now to avoid uh, that outcome. Now, while it is challenging, we are confident that we can achieve our net zero goal. As per our analysis, 90% of India's net zero target could be achieved from just seven levers. And of those seven, four require scaling of already available technology. So use of renewable energy, increased penetration of EVs, improvement in land use, agriculture and forestry. Are the uh, four levers we know we have the technology, then it becomes a question of application, the capital availability to make it happen. Others require adaptation and development of new technologies like hydrogen um, use or carbon capture and utilization and improvements in recycling. Obviously, apart from technology, significant capital infusion is required uh, and we will also need reskilling of talent to cater to the new green economy. As one of the few large countries that has delivered on our prior commitments to the Paris Agreement, we are a rare beacon in the world. And as our economy grows and we build out another two Indias in the next 30 years in terms of our infrastructure and asset base, we have an unprecedented opportunity to lay down the net zero path for the world to follow.